I will be crossing Norway on skis. I will be starting in the eastern border with Sweden. I will follow the ski tracks passing many cabins, but I will sleep in a tent. Towards the end I will have to navigate a little bit by myself. Then I will have to follow the road, so go by foot, before I will reach the fjord at Stjordal. And we're going to the tracks. So this is the start of the ski tracks. I'm gonna tell you the plan for today. We'll start here, follow the ski track all the way over, across the back of the mountain, the south side, and into Sweden. And then this is it, the blue line is a winter track. And then there will be a way to get down over here, which I will have to find my own way. Not really sure how that's gonna be, it might turn out to be a mistake, but I think it's the most interesting. Otherwise you could go over here and then leave your stuff, leave the sled, go back and forth, just on your skis, which doesn't sound that interesting to me actually. So, I've decided to go with the short skins, as I said, and we must be up from here. Maybe later I'll have to switch to the long skins, we'll see how good they stick. Looks good, snow is hard. Let's we'll see how much progress we make. It should be about 10 kilometers, a little bit more, 10 or 15 kilometers to the Swedish border. Gotten up above the tree line now. Just look at this view. There you can see the tracks going into the valley over there, and behind there is Sweden. This was a nice place for a little break. I came all the way from that lake over there. And then I'm gonna go round this mountain, through the valley, round the mountain. And then, after that, I'll be somewhere in those mountains. And we've done about maybe three quarters, almost in Sweden. Break time is over, time to get back on the road. how it would look if you had any mark at all but there it is so we would be so now we're in Sweden my original plan was to go up there, but yeah, I have to go quite a while down, so now I'm going 
Round, bang and sweeping. Round that little mountain. And then down and then don't hit the butt out. Oh, it's getting cold quite quick now. So um, I think I need to set up camp quite soon. fast with the sun that's on. I'm gonna head in the tent and make myself some dinner. Where's the moon? Look. The moon! Where is it? There is it! The moon! Luckily, I have two mattresses to keep my uh, ass from getting cold. And I have a fluffy sleeping bag. And I have, you can't see them, but I have wooden socks on outside of my wooden socks. I think this is gonna be the coldest night. So I hope I won't freeze. I don't think so. I'm not freezing right now. So dinner is eaten. Water is refilled. You know it just it hit me when I was lying here that I'm actually here in the middle of the mountain. I've been planning this trip for for quite a while. And suddenly I'm here. You wouldn't tell it because you just see the inside of a, of a tent, but really I'm not in my living room. I'm, I'm really in the middle of a mountain. It's quite surreal actually to be here. I'm gonna sleep here. So anyway, I'm gonna relax now, maybe read a book a little bit and then go to sleep. So this was the end of today. See you tomorrow.